I know that my health record representatives can perform certain tasks on behalf of the people they care for, but how do I know what kind of representative I should be? That'll depend on the kind of tasks the person you care for needs support with. It's important to discuss this with them so that you can work out the best option together. It's a good idea to become a nominated representative if the person you support only needs some assistance. You and your loved one can customise the level of access you get to suit their needs. This might look like helping to manage their My Health record by uploading documents, or you might just need viewing access to see what's on their record so you can better support them at their next medical appointment. What if the person I care for isn't able to make their own decisions about matters like My Health record? Well, in that case, it might be best to become an authorised representative. An authorised representative is responsible for managing the My Health record of someone who is not able to make their own decisions. Becoming an authorised representative gives you full access and control of that person's My Health record, as if it were your own. An authorised representative must act according to the will and preferences of the person that they represent. It's a more in-depth process to become an authorised representative than a nominated representative, To become an authorised representative, you need to file an application and provide 100 points of ID. Okay, do you know where I can find out how to apply to become an authorised representative? Yeah, you can find out about the application process on the Carers Australia website by going to the My Health Record page. You can also find out about it on the Australian Digital Health Agency website, digitalhealth.gov.au.